Welcome back to Soul Wars. We're going to talk about what it looks like for God to pour out His Spirit in the last days. Amen. 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 And what does that look like, uh, Pastor Brian? I mean, what, what does it say in the Word? It says the young men are going to see visions. Right. The old men are going to dream dreams. Oh, man. Amen to that. And haven't, haven't you saints been having dreams? I know I've been having dreams. People I've been talking to have been having dreams. Yes. And you can just be around people, right? right? And tell by their fruit where they're at in their walk with Christ. Amen? Right, amen. And don't we all need that, saints? And look, when Jesus is pouring out His Holy Spirit on all of us, we need to be aware. And any time that we hear His gentle voice inside our spirit, we need to be obedient to that. Amen. Obedience. Obedience is, is right. you know, is, is also uh, honoring God, right? Yes. And how do we honor God? Right. We obey That's His commandments. Right. Amen. Amen. And so we're in these last days. I feel like you got to, I mean, you got to see it, you know? I know, right? See, so we just appreciate you guys joining in. That's right. Brandon and I are doing a series on Soul Wars, and it feels so good to I be know, doing we're back this. back at it. Back in, ah, we were doing it in the treehouse. Yes, right? that's right. And we loved the treehouse. And so, you know, Brandon was coming up with some different things that was hitting him, and then me too. And then right. we had to stop the channel. But you know what I feel like, and uh, Brandon feels like that um, God is moving right now, and He is pouring out His Holy Spirit on us saints. Right. And so, Brandon and I are being obedient, trying our best. We're in the Soul Wars. We're not in Star Wars, guys. We're in Soul Wars. It's truly a battle over souls oh. right now. And we just we just want you guys to join the channel and be a part of the saints until we all go home and be with Jesus. Amen. 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 Another part of that passage you talked about people will be prophesying. Yes. All right? Yes. So God's going to be pouring out His Spirit on everybody, and you're going to start to see moves of the Spirit. Yes. So if God is upon, obviously God is in us. The right. Spirit is in us. Right. But then you're going to see God upon you, which there's going to be power, signs, wonders. Right. Different things are starting to happen. Amen. And different strange things. Like Amen. you're going to start to be like, man, whoa, right. what, what is God doing right now, you know? <laughs> I was just talking about this, and yes. then boom, it happened. It happened. Or I was praying about something, and then God answered it. Yes. Or I had this vision, and then it took place. It took place. That's right. Or I was dreaming this thing, and then, you know, God was doing something right, like that. Right, right. God is moving things. And, you know, God reveals, too. So when you guys are having your dreams, it's so imperative that you ask Jesus why I had this dream, yeah. and then reveal to me what it means. Amen? Amen. Just in the days of all. Uh, so we need to do the same, right? Right. Okay. And, uh, you know, I had a dream where I had a rapture dream, right? And so uh, I won't get too far into detail about it, but I had a dream, a rapture dream. And for like nearly seven days, a week after that, I was asking Jesus what this dream meant. And you know what? I had a second dream. And he revealed it to me. Come on. And, uh... And so that's what we need to be doing. Amen. I just want to I just want to talk about that. So God is pouring out his Holy Spirit. Amen. And 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 we need to be obedient in that. And you know what I feel like, guys, is we're in the last days. And God, there's a purpose why he's pouring out his Holy that's Spirit. Right. There's always a purpose behind God's word in yes. us. Amen. And so we need to be obedient in his word. That's and right obey Him, and when we hear His voice, or when we're led to do something, we need to do that, right. because miracles will happen, guys. Okay. Matter of fact, in the old in, uh, in the New Testament, when the apostles were doing their thing, in the book of Acts, it talks about the people were being added to the church daily. Yes. Daily people were coming to the Lord because God was just moving like this. It was popping off. And don't you think here in these end times he's going to do the same thing as the rapture's coming close? He's like, come on, let me get as many people as I can before these times of tribulation are about to kick off. That's right. It's going to get nuts. It's going to get really crazy, guys. And y'all know that. Look, hey, we do not want to be here. Mm -mm. 
when Jesus opens up those clouds, we want to go home and we want to be with Him. We, we want to be just within a blink of an eye, we want to go be with the Lord. You know, hey, look, so I was taking some pictures the other day, Brandon. I do, for you guys that don't know, I do landscaping and landscaping design. And I was out in the field working and I see this beautiful lantana gold as it's blooming and just busting out in these beautiful gold colors. And in my mind's eye, I kept thinking, oh, how beautiful. I couldn't even imagine how beautiful the streets are going to be in yeah, heaven. Yeah. That gold is just going to be just unbelievable, oh, right? Yeah. And I was thinking, God, just can't wait to be with the Lord. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. There's nothing here for us, saints. Look, right. so, but what's really important for us right now, and Brandon and I are here, we want to encourage you. That's what really our channel yes. is about. I mean, anything that Brandon talks about or, or my son right. talk about, we want to encourage each and every one of you to get on fire with yes. the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's not time to play games anymore. If this really is the end times, which it is, it is. It's time to get off the sidelines. Yes. It's time to get into the fight, yes. into the soul wars. Amen. Because it is a battle between good and evil, and there's only two sides. That's it's right. the devil's side and God's side. Choose wisely this day whom you will serve. That's right. Because some some of you may be thinking, "Well, I'm just going to serve myself." Well, no, that's really the devil's side. That's right. You pick God's side, amen, and you get into the soul wars and do something for the kingdom, do something for God. That's right. It's not about yourself no more. That's right. It's about winning souls. That's right. And look, guys, we don't want to ride the fence. We want to just say, hey, as long as everything's cool and, you know, I don't have... I don't have any problems and money looks good and my situation looks good and my, well, everything looks good in your life right now. You know, I just want to I just want to tell you guys it's not a place to be lukewarm. That's right. Amen. And lukewarm is riding the fence line. That's right. It's in the middle and you and you're neither cold nor hot, right? And so you're just riding that fence line and everything's cool as long as I can just stay right here. Right. But I want to tell you guys something, just as Jesus showed me, it's not, it's not, if, if you're called out to be a saint, and we are called out to be, look, all of us will be tested. Look. Right. And sometimes God gives and he takes away. Right. Amen. Right. And so when he takes away, through the good and the bad, we still got to bless him and praise right. his name. Amen. 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 Give it all to Jesus because he's going to make it better and Amen. he's going to refine you to be better too. Amen. Amen. And if you don't feel like you're seeing God pouring out his spirit, ask him to pour it out on you. Yes. Amen. Because then you will see. Yes. You will see confirmations. You will see the signs and wonders. You might dream some dreams or have some visions or something or prophesy, but something's going to happen. Amen to that. It will happen. And that's that's a beautiful thing. Amen. Man. Something. Thank you guys for joining Thank in you. tonight. We appreciate you guys on the Soul Wars channel. Yes. We hope we encourage you to continue on with your walk with Jesus. And look, go to that little quiet place in, uh, in your room where there's a little closet or yeah. somewhere. And God sees our heart and wants to see our heart more than hear our words. Amen. So uh, we want to get to that place where we open up our heart and we let God so that we become more like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining in. God bless. We'll see you later.